Over 4,000 signatures in support of anti persane fishing in the Cook Islands was handed over to Parliament this morning and was received by the Democratic MP James Beer. A trail of petitions were carried to Parliament by protesters, to which they were greeted by the Members of Parliament, including the Honourable Henry Puna himself. I'm sure we have over 4,000 valid signatures, which uh, by my calculations is at least half of the people who voted in the last election. So I think this should really send a very clear message to Parliament that the people of the Cook Islands are not happy with the way the whole the same issue has been dealt with and we're asking for changes to the way things are being done. The petitions will now be checked for their credibility along with the terms of reference now needed to be documented for the selecting committee to oversee the issues raised within the petition. Uh, checking on the credibility of the petition and also the signatures. As Kelvin rightly mentioned, there has been so many occasions where two or three uh, signatures uh, being, being signed by the one person. Uh, and uh, these are the manner in which the credibility check will be undertaken by myself and my staff. And once I am satisfied, then at whatever duration that might be, it will then be presented to the Speaker for sanctioning and also to proceed further in the table in, in Parliament. For how long it will take, I'm not too sure, because we have quite a heavy schedule. Uh, agenda in this uh, parliamentary sitting, but rest assured that I will endeavour to do everything possible to ensure that everything is in order before it will be taken. The petitions now lie in the hands of Democratic MP James Beer, who ensured protesters the petition will be tabled in the House of Parliament, assuring all issues and concerns stated within the petition will be raised. I want to assure you that if there is any hitches in the house. You have chosen me to be your representative to make sure we get this petition onto that table in that house so that we can go forth with a select committee as per the standing orders of parliament to ensure that your voice and your concerns have been dealt to and properly analyzed and then taken back into the house for further debate by parliament. Thank you very much.